In the pre-dawn hours of 1979, standing on the railing of the St. Paul's High Bridge, 200 feet above the Mississippi River below, a 15-year-old named Eddie Seidel Jr. told the police, moments before he jumped to his death, that he was upset that ABC had canceled his favorite television show, Battlestar Galactica. Eddie was born in 1964 in St. Paul, Minnesota, and he seemed like the average middle-class young teen when he sadly took his life. He was, like many teenage boys in 1979, a big fan of the television series Battlestar Galactica. His room was full of posters, magazine clippings, plastic models, action figures, toys, anything related to the show. Colonial Viper Pilot ready for takeoff. Cylons approaching. Check stabilizers. Cylon Raider missile base open. He bought anything he could find related to Battlestar Galactica. He would even record the show from his TV onto a tape recorder. Something many kids did back then, before VCRs was a common machine in your living room. Eddie was really wrapped up in the show. He would watch it in his bedroom each week on a television he bought himself, thanks to a job as a stock boy at a local supermarket. In 1976, Eddie's father found out his son was sniffing gas with his friends to get a quick high. Concerned about this, his father had Eddie meet with a psychiatrist. And that's when they learned Eddie was bored with life. That he felt there was nothing for him to excel in. There was no real challenges on earth for Eddie. His school grades seemed to be around B and sometimes even A's. Even if he was bored with school. On the outside of things, he was the typical young American male teenager. But inside, Eddie was depressed with life. In the spring of 1979, Eddie, like the rest of the world, found out that ABC had canceled his beloved television show, Battlestar Galactica. One of the biggest loves in his life. The one thing he could use to escape to. Upset, Eddie sent letters to ABC, asking them to bring back the show. However, on August 5th, 1979, the final episode aired. 16 days later, Eddie was in good spirits when he arrived home after working his job. The family said Eddie went to his bedroom to watch TV, and the family didn't see him again. As the hours passed, Eddie's sister, 19-year-old Crystal, passed by his closed bedroom door to see a note pinned to it. The note was a last will and testament, with a note to his parents telling them where they can find his body under High Bridge, a bridge that the residents of St. Paul, Minnesota often called Suicide Bridge due to a high number of suicides from jumping off the bridge. His parents rushed to the bridge in hopes of saving their son's life, but sadly arrived about 10 minutes after he had jumped to his death, missing the river below. Eddie's stepmother, Dawn Seidel, said she hoped Battlestar Galactica would never, ever be on television again, as seeing it would crush the family. She said she even thought of suing ABC, but Eddie's father said it was best to just leave things as they are and not make a big hassle out of it, adding that she knew it was not the fault of ABC. Eddie's father said his son was a brilliant boy who just couldn't find enough in life to keep him interested. Eddie's father did have regrets and wished that he got any more help, but he adds that it was too late to look back and say, I should have done this and I should have done that. Sadly, Eddie was gone, a short life of just 15 years. The TV show being canceled was credited as the reason for Eddie to end his life, but there was more going on in his mind and life than just a failed television show. Losing the one love in your life might have been what pushed him over the edge, but there was many factors that contributed to Eddie taking his life 
other than the end of a television show. Ironically, the television show would return the following year in 1990, retooled as Galactica 1980, after ABC received millions of letters from fans asking for the show to return. One of those million of letters was a letter by Eddie Sidell. One of the new characters on the retooled show was named Colonel Jack Sidell. The two last names are spelt completely different, but pronounced the same. If this was done in honor of Eddie, it's unknown. Eddie might have left us 40 years ago, but sadly, suicide hasn't. Too many of our sons and daughters did not survive to share the fulfillment of our dream. We can only take comfort and find strength in that they did not die in vain. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> Channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>